recording? How about that? Hi! Hi, Quilt Doctor lovers. Well, I hope you're a Quilt Doctor lover because if you're not, you're definitely watching the wrong video. Anyway, um, hopefully this channel is going to be, I can make this channel to be more about Quilt Diapering, um, parenting tips maybe. I don't like receiving too many parenting tips, so maybe not too parenting tips, but definitely some breastfeeding tips, Quilt Diapering tips, and natural parenting. Well, natural child rearing, should I say. Anyway, so this video is going to be about cloth diapers I love and cloth diapers that I maybe not like as much and still trying to work on to like them more. Seems I paid a lot of money for them. Um, and cloth diapers that I kind of like, but there's problems that I don't like about the diapers. There's things I don't like about the diapers that um, could be better. Uh, I am actually only three months into cloth diapering, so. You know, my opinions might change, um, I might find better diapers I like, I might learn to love the diapers that I'm having problems with right now. It could be problems that something I'm doing, the way I'm washing them, or it could just be the way my son fits right now, like um, the size of his legs or his waist. Um, so we're just going to jump right into it. So, we're going to start with cloth diapers I hate because we're going to end on a good note. So, <laughs> so far the cloth diapers that I'm having problems with, which I really, really want to love, is Smart Bottoms. Um, just look at this pattern, this pattern is amazing, like it's just beautiful, gorgeous, and it looks amazing on my son. The problems I'm having with Smart Bottoms is leaking issues, and I know even I prep, prep, prep Smart Bottoms, but I really think you have to wash these at least 15 to 20 times before they start to become absorbent. Um, I was doing the absorbency test on them and pouring some water on them and it would just run off. So this was about wash 10. So now this one I think has been washed about 20 times and it's really starting to become more absorbent and more usable but I will not put this on my son when we're going out somewhere because I don't want to get my his car seat and see there's a huge leak. Um, I also don't like the way the, the gussets are sewn that you have to make sure that the you turn the legs in. Um, because my husband doesn't make sure that happens, so there's always a piece of white sticking out, and then obviously that goes onto his clothes. The piece soaks through this and onto his clothes. Um, these are one of the diapers that I hope I love in the future. I will not be buying any more just because it's a ridiculous amount of time to prep them. I love that they're organic, and I love that they're made out of all natural materials but and made in America. And I love their prints, but I do not have time to be washing them 15 to 20 times before I can use them. Now, Smart Bombs does sell a diaper now that's um, ready to go. It's already been prepped. But the price of that diaper, I can't remember exactly how much it was, but I think it was around $30. And that's just too much for me to pay for a diaper. For one diaper. Um, oh, was that? Diapers we love. Okay. <laughs> Next diaper that I love is this one. And I bought this from Beach Bums Kalua in Kalua in Hawaii. Um, most of the diapers I buy from there, um, this was actually on their sour rack, so I thought I'd try out this pa this diaper, and this is the only one I have in the um, Bum Genius Organic, I believe it's the Elemento, don't hold me to that, I don't have the original packaging for any of these diapers. Um, things I love about this diaper, it's all sewn in, so there's no stuffing, I hate um, stuffed diapers, I do not use pocket diapers. Um, again, it's all natural, organic. It really didn't need to be prepped that much, even though it kind of looks and feels like the same material as the Smart Bottoms. It did not need to be prepped as many times. Probably I washed this about four or five times and it was good to go. Um, and I love how trim it is when my son's wearing it. It's super thin. Had no leak problems, no absorbency problems. Um, love this diaper. I use it overnight with no extra inserts right now. Um, next diapers that I love, and I'm actually surprised at this because I really didn't think I was going to like this, but last time I was in the cloth diaper store, which probably about a month and a half ago, I decided to buy some pre-folds. Now, I did not like the idea of pre-folds. I like the idea of taking the diaper off, washing it, drying it, putting it back on, which is pretty much the same idea as this. Um, I was looking for something that would fit my son correctly and you can adjust this to fit perfectly around the child and you don't have to worry about the snats or the rises or anything like that. 
Um, I use this as a diaper. I fold it. I don't use it as an insert. I fold it, fold it up, and put a snappy on. And then I put, which is my next favorite item, <laughs> um, a first cover. I like this cover because it has double gussets. It doesn't leak. Even when the poop comes out of this, it does not escape this cover. Um, going on to quickly, because my son's not to cry, so I want to get this video done. Um, to another cover I bought was the Romperoos. This is in the size newborn. Um, the one at the store said it would fit up to like 14 pounds or something. My son's getting near that. But this didn't really fit from when I bought it when he was around 9, 10 pounds. So um, I just don't like the way it fits. And, um, it doesn't leak, but I just don't like it. I just don't like the way it fits. Even though it's double gusseted, and I just don't feel like it fits his body correctly. It might work for other size or shape babies, but I just don't like the way it looks or feels or anything about it. I really don't know why I bought it. Um, moving on to diapers that I love and hate at the same time, I guess I really just did hate, is the Tot Spots. Um, Easy Star Fit. I think this is the old version because I just ordered like five more um, from their website and they look different now. So I think they changed the way they, they are. Um, I love uh, Hook and Loop, Velcro, whatever you want to call it. Um, I thought I was going to hate Velcro because you know, the wear and tear, but Velcro is amazing. Like It's so easy to put this on. There's no fiddling with buttons. Uh, my husband can do it. Anyone can do it. And it seems I can get that right tightness every time. Um, this comes with like a soft microfiber fleece and then microfiber on the outside, which, the inside, sorry, which I cannot stand the full of microfiber, I don't even like touching it. <laughs> but this bit where it touches a baby is nice and soft. This did come with an extra insert, I just have it put away right now because we have no need for it. Um, and again, this is really trim without the extra insert, it's so trim in his outfit, like his clothes, it just doesn't look bulky or ridiculous. Um, and the other problem I have when I put a, a, a big bulky cloth strap on my son when we're going out in the car in his car seat, I'm having to adjust the straps. Um, and I feel like if he has a big bulky diaper on when we're in the car, if there was a car crash, wouldn't the pressure of the seatbelt like push against the diaper and collapse it just like a jacket would? And I don't know. I, it just it just feels weird. So I like to put these in when we're going in the car, like a nice thin diaper, or I'll put a free fold on him when we're going in the car. Um, yeah, so I'm, I did order more of these. Um, I like because it's trim. I like the way um, it absorbs a lot. Like, he's never peed through this, he's never leaked, and he's had it on all night. For six plus seven hours. Um, so, yeah, ordering some more. I did get this in a plain color because I got it on sale because um, the Beach Bums color store, where it's just my local Puff Diaper store, had discontinued them. Um, which kind of upset me because they just came out with all these new prints and stuff, but I guess they weren't selling well in the store, so... Waiting for those to come in, excited about that. Um, I think that's what I was going to say. Oh yeah, the other thing I love about pre-folds is that um, living in Hawaii, it gets really hot in my house, and... One second. Pre-folds are great when you live in Hawaii and we don't have the best air conditioning system in our house so it gets really hot. So I like to just leave Mr. Bowie oh, 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 oh. just in a pre-fold without a cover and um, you know if you're checking your child regularly and making sure to change him as soon as they pee, which you know when I'm just in the house with him chilling out isn't an issue. Um, it's nice and breathable and he doesn't get hot, um, which we love. Yeah. Well, so I'm going to go feed this little guy, and um, if you like this video, thumbs up, comment down below. Um, I'll be getting some more diapers in soon, um, way more diapers to try out. Um, this is like my diapering journey, and I hope you'll follow me along with it. <laughs> I watched tons of diaper videos before I started cloth diapering, so um, most of the brands I bought is because of um, other people's um, opinions on them, I guess I should say. Um, so yeah, there's way more diapers I love and there's way more diapers to show you, so stay tuned, so like, comment, 
subscribe.